So this is an interesting story. A novice Freemason was shot dead during his initiation ritual. Basically what happened was that they had replaced a fake gun with a real one. The first question here is why did they have a loaded gun with them anyway? But let's move on. The purpose of this was to of course scare him because during the initiation rituals you are when you take the oath you are basically threatened that you shall pay with your life in case you reveal the truths and the secrets of the people in the brotherhood and the inner workings of the brotherhood. What's interesting is that the man was later freed with just 1500 pounds of bail money. That's because the Freemasons, of course, they have connections everywhere. This is a literal proof of that because these people were not even high level Freemasons. So why did they have a loaded gun anywhere with them? Why? But that's not the only weird thing that they found at the lodge. They also found weird stuff such as rat traps and also a guillotine. Hmm, that's interesting. Why would you have a guillotine there? If you're not intending on using it. I believe this was a sacrifice. This guy was made a sacrificial lamb. And the fact that they had a loaded gun with them. And also there's a guillotine in there. Tells me that all sorts of weird stuff was happening there way before this. And this was probably not the first sacrifice that they have carried out at this lodge. The reason I say that this was meant to be a sacrifice is because they never really use guns in their initiation rituals. What happens is that during the initiation when they're taking the oath the person has been initiated, a sword is put on their chest to tell them that look, you are now tied by a blood oath and in case you go against what you have taken the oath for, you will pay with your life. So a sword is usually used, this has been used for as long as they have existed. However, in this case, they used a gun. Even they admit in that article that they don't usually use guns. So why did they feel the need to use it in this one? You tell me. We're living in a very dark age and people need to know the truth. So I'm going to tell you in English here uh, what is really going on. It's called the Masonic Takeover of the World. Everything deep, dark, evil, twisted, perverse, sadistic, uh, masochistic, uh, evil, and satanic that has been lurking in the lodge, in the Masonic Lodge, and in the hearts of the people who run it, is now coming forth into the open day. They founded their lodges in 1717. They spread around the world. They infiltrated institutions. They overthrew governments. They've infiltrated the church, church institutions, Knights of Columbus, uh, they founded their own banks in New York City, uh, Chase Manhattan, uh, J.P. Morgan, um, Brown Brothers Harriman, Citibank. They destroyed Austria because the emperor dared to veto the election of Rampola Tindero, their M Masonic candidate for the papacy in 1904. And so the Cardinals chose P Pius X, and for that crime, the Masons destroyed Austria, the only nation that ceased to exist after the First World War. But now that's their ultimate scandemic, the Bilderbergers, that's the Rockefellers, uh, this is total world control. They want control of everyone. They want to enslave us. They just don't want to own us. They want us to be evil like them. They want to take us to hell like them. They want us to love evil like them. They want everyone to be involved in evil. And that's why they're racing to install all manners of high-tech equipment so that um, far beyond what is necessary for cell phone communications, they want to control because they want to be able to, through their computers, there are few families, there are a few hundred people around the world, they want to be able to control all the automobiles and all the machinery and all the jobs and eventually everyone's online. They built the internet. The internet is one of their tools of control because they know that the more we spend time talking to each other through this method like I'm doing now, the more we get programmed by it and controlled because this is not real. Real is who would be next to me, okay? Um, uh, I have been doing the nightly prayers in front of the Basilica for nearly 10 months and transmitting all along. And the reason why no one comes is because I transmit. That's why no one comes. And people don't realize that. You think that this is real, and so you stay home. You think that what you do on the internet is real, and so you don't do anything. It's the ultimate satanic deception. I'm a Mason. I'm a Mason. Um, I beat all my cases. Well, they'll give you a shield to put in your car. You know what I mean? So everybody sees that your brother, leave you alone. Get special privileges, you know, you get pulled over, have a nice day.